Hey, well, Matt, welcome to the pregame hangout for the final sort of episode of Isekai Realms. This is our finale. Big Book things one. happen. Lots of things happen. Oh, my God. Lots of things happen. Anyway, so thank you for coming with <laughs> us on this journey. This has been, uh, well, we've had a lot of stuff go down and there will be a lot of hot time in the old Westgate tonight. Something That's like not a that. Spoiler. Yeah, something like that. Uh, I will <laughs> say uh, to warn folks, I mean, we've only got a few people in right now, but uh, to warn folks, this is going to be a bit of a shorter episode tonight as well. Uh, it's not going to run the usual two and a half to three hours. Uh, I think this one runs about hour 40. But, you know, better, Quality better over to, quantity. Exactly. Better to end the story <laughs> on the right note than pad it out. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> And obviously, yes. this being Westgate, we face terrible creatures like Yeti and um, I think a rock rock lobster. Oh, the, 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 te the terror of the rock lobster. Yes. Other, yeah. I was uh, going to say rock bears, chocolate, rock lobster Other chocolate. enemies of the West. I mean, yeah. wait, yeah. You, we said Westgate, not Old West. Oh, right. sorry. Yeah, yeah. Wrong game. Yeah. And then we get sent to, sent to a Westgate's <laughs> evil reflection, Eastgate, which. <laughs> Yeah, okay, Northgate and Southgate, right? We do anyway. have a Northgate Mall here in Seattle. Well, I mean, we did. It's uh, less of a mall nowadays, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. more of a flaming ruin. ruin. Well, <laughs> okay, so they tore down the mall and they built the um, they built a hockey stadium, not interesting where the Kraken actually <laughs> plays. The Kraken actually plays at Key Arena, I think. Anyway, but the stadium that they built is the practice arena for the Kraken. So and it's no longer key be, arena; it's climate so they, pledge arena. So they have climate pledge like, arena, right? So, they, so wait, they have to oh, have God. they have to have a separate arena for practicing. That's correct. When the Kraken plays, do you have to release it first? Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. It's a whole choreographed uh, pomp and circumstance of uh, releasing the Kraken. <laughs> Is there a Zamboni involved? There might be, yeah. Okay. I've always wanted to see that happen. Yeah. A Zamboni and a Kraken, you know, together in tandem. Yes, I have been to exactly one Kraken game, and it is, it's a delight. This is a light <laughs> show and the fog machine and uh, holograms. It's awesome. So. Zamboni, few people understand. Like people are usually like, "Oh, they make fun of it in movies." Like people getting run over by Zamboni. You know, it's like eh, it's like ah, eh, ah right. But yep. what they don't realize is a Zamboni can cast slow. Like it has infinite slow <laughs> uh, spell as as an action, so oh it can. Um, You're yeah. all like, I can run faster than that. Wait, wait, what what's happening? Oh, oh no. no. Oh no! Yeah, that's deadly. Yeah. Um, I played hockey as a child. Actually, oh. I was the center of my hockey team, so I am familiar with this Zamboni. Nice. Does anyone here? Anyone else here skate at all? You've seen how tall I am uh, in real life. I used to, the answer is no. I used to roller <laughs> skate and not ice skate. Yeah. Though. Uh, I there was a there was a brief time where I was I was not a member yet, but I was training to uh, be part of uh, Duke City Roller Derby in Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't get I didn't I didn't uh, end up getting onto the team just because I had to I ended up moving. But uh, yeah, that was that was a thing I did for a bit. That was fun. Is that I one of those it. combat roller derbies where there's like you know deadly there's, fighting. I wouldn't call it well. There's not there's non combat roller derby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for children, they must, well, you know, not allowed yeah. children. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, <laughs> this is definitely a more full contact roller derby. Uh, nice. I think the thing I struggled with was ha was skating backwards. That was the that was hard. That was my best skill. I was actually ju just about as fast skating in reverse as I was skating forward. That's how That's I ended impressive. up as the center on my team. Mm -hmm. That's well, our, uh, our a friend of the show, Amanda Cherry. Um, she MCs our local uh, derby. Um, 
and uh, they're playing this Saturday, I believe. Um, oh. Last second to last bout of the year at Edmonds Community College. If you're a local, go check it out. 4 yep, p.m. I think, I think that's uh, that's true. She puts on a good show. I've never been to a roller derby. I really should check it out. I think we have a roller derby in this episode. Is that not correct? <laughs> Something like it. Yeah. There's, there's some full body contact, I think. <laughs> and um, there's definitely some jamming. Mm -hmm. There's some, uh, yeah. There's definitely some getting hit so hard and not getting back up again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that does happen. Uh, to uh, some so, chumba wumba uh, happens. So. A, a, the first line of a chumbawamba happens. Yeah. So, so how about of, that? Oh, <laughs> go ahead. I was just saying, in the interest of steering us back on track. Uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? Where chumbawamba is totally on track. I don't understand yes. that. Pubs are being thumped. <laughs> That's right. Uh, well, uh, why don't we talk about the previous episode to give folks a, uh, an idea of where we're at going into today, because, uh, some... So how, did we, how did we end that previous episode? I think, I think you were traveling the streets, headed back to Briar House on the yep. cusp of a great victory, and yep. Jamal had a plan to save the whole damn city. Yeah, yes. we we uh, we rescued Gedrin, uh, the, 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 the eventual Shadow Vane. Uh, That's right. Rescued Gedrin, rescued a bunch of people that the Thayans were keeping as uh, as slaves. Killed a bunch of red wizards. Killed a Just well, killed so a many red, red wizards. wizards. Killed a red wizard and a bunch well, of moose. as well as however many were locked on the ship when we burnt yeah, it yeah. down. You but guys yeah. have a habit of doing that. Just setting things on fire. Gee, uh, I wonder if it, if it works. <laughs> Thankfully, red red wizards don't hold grudges, so we're probably fine. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, no, no we're I, fine. I'm sure we didn't make we're like fine. lasting like, enemies of the not like nation the, of Thay or anything. It's not like the primary red wizard that had that ship was not on it at the time or something. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure it's I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, it's, sure. it's fine. It'll be fine. Like the red wizards probably meet up with the night mass, and they're like, "So." Uh, can we make these guys our nemeses? And the night master like, no, no, no. There are nemeses. You can't have them. That's the See, thing. I'm sure now. that's how it works. Yeah. You gotta so get they, them to fight each other. Yeah. They 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 fight each other because they each want to take us out. And so they get busy and then we F off out the back. That's starting yep. to sound like the plot of an Elminster book. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I, I wait, will I kill him. No, I will kill him. Ah! And then they kill each other, and Elminster's like Hold on. What what was happening? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If if we learn anything in this episode, it's that leaving ep uh, enemies alive behind us has no consequences whatsoever. Absolutely. None, none whatsoever. Nobody I ever mean, gets pissed at us. Okay. Okay. To be fair, to be perfectly fair, that okay. time we didn't leave any enemies behind us alive, as far as we know. I uh, mean, technically speaking, you may be right. Uh. Now, where where the enemy that wasn't on the ship happened to be is another matter entirely. But they weren't Separate behind friend. us. <laughs> it does answer the question um, from last episode where Arita seemed very upset about what might be in the basement. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, we do. Yes. That was a thing that we never uh, really looked into. And uh, right. who knows if that will come back to bite us in the ass? I'm sure. I'm sure it's fine. It's fine. This I'm is sure. fine. Again, this is absolutely. fine. That's fine. <laughs> there's enough. There's enough fire in this for us to go. This is fine, right? This is. Yeah, I would say definitely, <laughs> definitely with the fire levels. Yeah. Um. So next week, um, we're playing what is the functionally conclusive episode of book one. However, however. There is an interlude, uh, a mysterious shot at Gen Con episode between book one and book two. Um, and so that's not ready. And it's just no. not ready. Um, <laughs> it may never be ready. But there is the possibility that some other interlude activity could occur next week or, or a special treat. This episode mm -hmm. contains a special treat. Mm -hmm. The next time we would get together, which would be next yeah. week, would also contain a special treat. Very similarly flavored treats. This week is a pre-recorded treat 
Yes. Next week would be a live treat. Live treat. Yeah. That is correct. Right. I will say Hot out of the oven. I will say the Isekai Realms Twitter did spoil what the treat was, at least a little bit. Um, I saw that. I I, I retweeted it because I wanted to promote, but I was like, oh <laughs> man, like it's not a spoiler. Well, you are but... unfortunately still on the hell site, uh, formerly <laughs> and possibly currently known as Twitter. You might have an idea of what this treat is gonna be. Yeah, mm. you never know. Mm-hmm. It's sugary. We'll see. Sugary. Tangy, certainly. The treat. Yes. Tangy. That... It's classy. It's a classy taste. Spicy, I would say. Spicy. Yes. Uh, maybe, maybe this is the wrong metaphor. <laughs> hey, let's 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 move away. From it's umami. That. It's umami. No. Yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, so hey, so that. so we were on a ship. Mm-hmm. I'm on yeah. a boat. On um. Uh. The most horrific. Yeah. Uh, experience that we could have with Red Wizards was our first experience with Red Wizards. I don't know about you. Yeah, I got yeah. to kill one. I'm 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 happy. Like the first. Oh, I I meant the uh, hold full of uh, zombies. Oh were, yeah, uh... no, that's true. I I am glad that the one Enslaved time, the only time in the in this so far that I've killed like my first kill <laughs> in the realms was a Red Wizard. I'm not. Yeah, that's sad about pretty good. You should. You should just hang up the spurs because at that point, you know, you, 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 can't, you can't escalate every single time. You just got to be like. Right. And like, yeah, I think that that was a fun kind of thing to explore mentally, too, because, uh, you know, like you get put in that situation and it's like, you know, are you willing to take a life? Mm hmm. Especially, I mean, with we know what person. my answer is already. Oh, but, yeah, like... no, we knew that in episode like four. <laughs> Yeah, Eric. Eric treats lies like that little penny penny dish at the yeah. at the convenient mark. Take a life, give a life. But like, yeah, like I was mostly take like, a life though. I, I'll I'll go out of my way to try to not kill somebody, but if that person is a slaver, all bets are off. So sure, I yeah, think I think that's... I can think. I think that was a fair kill, uh, justified yeah. war. You know that situation certainly. But um, I believe remember, police call that a of... righteous kill. Anyway, a righteous kill. Yeah. Do they? All Eric has <laughs> no. a philosophy that all of these people are NPCs and therefore not real. Right? Well, I thought that initially, <laughs> and then I stopped thinking that, and then I had an existential breakdown. So, oh, yeah, I remember that. oh yeah, yeah, which time was good. <laughs> Randy, you have um, yet to kill anyone. Is that correct? Um, directly, that is true. Um, I think, I think my actions with the drum, like commanding the zombies to stop the guards and stuff like that, I'm sure probably led to some serious injuries, if not fatalities. But other than that, it's like, I'd nearly forgotten um, that, but that is true. I think the, um, still the highest, I think the highest kill count probably still goes to Rhiannon though. Yeah. Oh yeah. This episode is not going to change that. No, no, (laughs) no, no, it is not. (laughs) It's not. Uh. Did this episode's conclusion surprise you all? Did it go in a very different direction than you thought it would? Uh, like the episode we're about to play. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm not telling you to tell me what it is. No, 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 no. I I know. I'm not going to spoil it for people, but I definitely think it it didn't go the way I was anticipating at all. (laughs) The ending was a wonderful and delightful surprise to me. And unfortunately... (laughs) Um, it came at the end of like, you know, a, it was a, the end of a long day and a really long playing session and a long week. And I was pretty much like brain dead by the time we got to the end of the episode. So my like there's this huge, enormous thing that happens and I'm like, cool. <laughs> but I, inside, yeah. I promise I was like, oh, my God. Oh yeah, it was fantastic. It doesn't quite doesn't quite come through, but yeah, it uh, yeah like, for sure. Unfortunately, by necessity, I was kind of spoiled before it happened in game, just because I I you know a little bit, but doing the tech stuff, doing the tech stuff, but you know, yeah, because I have to edit. Also, ooh, yeah, and I was a little befuddled. Probably, I was a little thrown off by like some of it being like. You know the part that got focused on me like i was like what what like yes yeah i think i was just not prepared mentally to deal with that at that moment but like uh 
I'm very excited about it and to what what Good. may come of it. So I am interested to see how you respond in our next episode, as it will have some ramifications from this one that you're about to watch. As I recall, my reaction to the uh, unexpected ending was very muted. <laughs> yes, I remember that too. You had very just little to bit. say at the time. Just a bit. I had very little to say. Nothing to say, in fact. I was quiet <laughs> during that whole time. <laughs> I thought you reflected that very well, visually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, I am so, a consummate actor, okay? Like, yeah, I really I embrace the role. Me. I do. I, believe, I, I understand and believe that to be true as well. So I really hope this um, potential surprise of ours for next week works out, as can be indicated by what I've created behind me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, so you're teasing us with that with that backdrop that Are we he talking now cut Raven away from. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm talking. Uh, yeah. yeah. I have to see something. Uh, something Halloween themed. Oh, yes. I'm, yeah, that would be a whatever. Whatever we end up doing that night, I am looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, we'll have something one way or the other. But yeah, th this is this is good. This e e Eric uh, challenged me to uh, come up with a clever idea, and oh, I, I think this is a terribly clever idea. Be I was just going to do that. Yeah, I was just going to say that. I challenged him in front of everyone else, and I said, "No, yeah. Chris will come up with something." And Chris is <laughs> <That's> like. <key>. <laughs> <laughs> So There's I did, no plausible I, deniability when it's in front of everybody else. It's true. It's true. So I did a lot of research and came up with some things. And it's a very novel idea. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> novel, but a classic, right? Oh, definitely a very classic novel idea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So terribly appropriate for Halloween Eve. Oh, absolutely. We're going to drive Allie nuts. This is going to be great. <laughs> oh, Allie, <laughs> by virtue of the fact that uh, Allie and I have had a tech conversation, knows more than any of you. Yeah, mm. I, 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 I know what it's... Well, I know what one of the options is. I don't know what the plan is if we don't get everything in the right place, but... <laughs> See, that's why the puns are driving her nuts. Because <laughs> uh, I know. <laughs> I'm building, yeah, I'm, I'm building the overlays for it. I know. I, uh, I'm hoping those are coming together well. I, yeah, I, I think so. I good, think good, so. Good. It's pretty. It's a pretty simple adaptation of what we already use for. Uh, it's 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 an overlay I built for uh, Gray Mantle since we're now recording that again, and uh, I'll be adapting it. So excellent. So what else is going on on the channel, Eric? Why don't we take a minute to talk about that? Well, Quadrilateral, our Star Wars actual play, is going to start uh, showing at the beginning of November, the first Monday in November, which is two weeks from today, should be our first episode. And uh, that game uh, is great. I highly recommend people check it out. It uses the uh, D6 West End Games version of the Star Wars role-playing game, not the modern stuff that you see on the chair behind me. Uh, and um, it's with an all-new group of people who have not featured on the channel before. And me, I'm, I play like I'm about a to say. support <laughs> character who was there for like one episode. So don't worry about it. But yeah, it's, um, it's great. Highly recommended. Uh, there will start being videos and uh, links about it coming up soon. Um, I would particularly say that the cast gets really into it uh, and really emotionally invested. It's like watching a spinoff of Andor, is what it is. And uh, so what is, if you what are is like space, me, did you say and space it was, wars? Uh, <laughs> space wars. And <laughs> if, if you were like me and thought Andor was one of the best Star Wars things we've had in a long time, then you mm -hmm. will enjoy this show. That's my expectation. Yeah, I would encourage people to watch it. I uh, I had the uh, good fortune to chat with uh, its DM. GM, I guess, because it's a Star Horse, a Star Horse adventure. Oh my God, um, <laughs> Star Horse! Yeah. <laughs> and so, as a consequence, uh, should be quite excellent, in my opinion. I uh, I've set a date to uh, record um, the one shot with that group, actually, Eric. Ooh, excellent! excellent. Yes, um, the so GM of that now. group of uh, Quadrilateral, uh, J. L. Collins, who uh, you may remember. If you are a um, 
realms aficionado of the novels and stuff is one of the authors in the realms of the dragons 2 anthology which was the first oh, published really? work that i ever published that's how jl and i know each other um he was very enthusiastic about doing some gaming with us and uh, then chris was like hmm, i need people for this uh other thing that i'm doing and i'm like well jason's a natural choice so that worked out too i'm yeah. glad that I'm glad that that's worked out. You haven't recorded yet, though. You just set a that, date. That is correct. We have set a okay. date for the beginning of December. I'm interested to see how that goes or hear how that goes. Yeah. I'm and then eventually watch well. how that goes. You're welcome to uh, observe its filming if you'd like, Aaron. Okay. If I have time, we'll see. Okay. So that's the first thing that we'll run for that scenario. Say again, sorry. Randy? Randy? Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, like, for, for Star Wars... Since we're talking about Star Wars, people like Star Wars, you should check out Rhiannon's Excellence series. Oh, uh-huh. that's uh, true. Yeah. I mean, if you like space heard, opera. Has written space under cool RZ stuff. Held uh, some space opera that has, uh, it's true. recently been updated and is uh, some really good stuff to check out. Also, my friend uh, Spencer. Links down uh, there, I think, yeah. somewhere. Yeah. I'll I throw a plug to, out for uh, Spencer Ellsworth. He's a friend of mine who wrote um, from Tor tour.com a red a red piece mm-hmm. is the first book and it's like a really it's totally he basically just admits it's very much star wars uh i mean homage. my uh my my own sci-fi writings thus far have been building toward my own kind of like i'm gonna make a, i can't write a star wars so i'm gonna make a star wars kind of thing um it's a good but, strategy. Uh, I, I yeah. feel like a lot of people do things like that, and that's good. That's good. But uh, I have two short stories out myself, uh, one called Droma Station and the other called uh, Silence in the Dark, which uh, one, they, they connect. Uh, but uh, if, if people want to check those out, I definitely recommend picking up uh, Apex World of Dinosaurs anthology or the uh, or Bridge to Elsewhere, uh, another anthology, both from Outland uh, Publishing. And those are awesome. those are fantastic. And I plan to do more with those characters eventually. But those are, that that's it for the moment. And I have written nothing in any of these universes. <laughs> uh, I am not a novelist or, or short story writer. Well, maybe a short story writer. Um, not published, however. However, I have run many a Star Wars game. I actually prefer the classic uh, between um, uh, Return of the Jedi uh, and uh, Empire Strikes Back. That period of time mm-hmm. is actually sort of my favorite period era to run uh, Star Wars games in, and Asian in rebellion, the rebellion, as it were, mm-hmm, and in the great tradition of uh, player self games, um, I've always thought about running a uh, player self Star Wars. Although I'll confess, <laughs> I'm far more interested in running a player self Aliens. Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> Wow. But it's a game that can be run under any set of circumstances. So you challenge me with something and I'd be happy to give it a whirl. <laughs> All right. I we'll have to keep well, that in mind. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I think a play yourself thing would be more fun in the sense of like is the in thing, the thing. The... Yeah. Oh, okay. Just wow. because then, you know, you get like as as characters might be slowly replaced by things that are the that's just among us. And you just don't steps. know who who, yeah. who are the things. Social who are deduction the real people. horror games. <laughs> yeah. 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 Would you prefer the uh, 80s Kurt Russell version or the well, yeah. uh, 2010s uh, Mary Elizabeth, uh, what, what's, her, what's her last name from uh, uh, Obviously, yeah. yeah. Obviously, Kurt Russell. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I, did, I did enjoy the Kurt Russell version. Although I, I will say I was favorably impressed with the 2010 yeah. version. The way yeah. They, 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 yeah. Yeah. They, what, yeah, what, they, they kind what, of like what, lead into what, each other. No love for the video game? No love for oh the officially God. canonical video game? I think I played it, to be honest, but I don't remember it. And that should tell you something right there. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. I, do, I do love, I am a classic Kurt Russell fan. And so that movie. And uh, Big Trouble in Little China are two of my mm-hmm. favorite uh, Kurt Russell films. It's Although all in the confess- reflexes. It's all in the reflexes. <laughs> Although I will also confess to really enjoying Tango and Cash, but that's a... <laughs> <still not laughs> that is a deep cut. Well, 
Thanks. I think yeah. we need to we need to wrap it up. Uh, I do want to All remind right. folks that uh, this episode is shorter than normal. Uh, it's at about hour and forty minutes, just so you know it doesn't. You'll you, you, it'll. I mean, you'll you'll see it end. It'll. It's not like it'll be a surprise. But <laughs> I wanted to make set expectations. Get a snack instead of dinner. Right. Thanks for watching East Sky Realms. Hope you enjoy this finale and do check in next week because we got more stuff coming and it's going to be cool. Can't wait. Yeah. Have fun. Have a good night, everyone. See you next week.